So you're done with the product research, you're done with shipping, and now your very first product is on the Amazon platform. Next, you need to start advertising. Now, it's important to note that advertising doesn't actually sell more products. What? Yes, advertising will promote the product and get more people to see your product on the Amazon platform, whether they see it under particular search terms or they see it under other products, but you will get more visibility. It's important to note that anything else that you do will get the customer to purchase your product, meaning do not start advertising if your listing isn't fully optimized, if, it, if you don't have great images, if you're not selling at a competitive price, because you're just going to basically be sending all of that great traffic into a product page that simply does not convert because it's not convincing and people will, will look at it and not be 100% certain that they should buy your product. So the first step of advertising would be to actually fix your product page, optimize it, and then you start advertising. How do you start advertising? In order to get started with your ads, you will need to go into your Amazon Seller Central and find the ads um, menu and then click on Campaign Manager. Once you are in the Campaign Manager, you simply need to click on Create Campaign. As you can see, there are different types of campaigns that you are, you're going to be eligible to create. Sponsored products, sponsored brands, and sponsored display. But sponsored brands and sponsored display are dependent on whether or not you have a registered brand on Amazon. So in this case, let's just keep it simple and use the sponsored products. Once you are in the new campaign, then you need to add a campaign name. I would highly suggest that you add the product name. In this case, I will just call it water bottle and then keep the date so that you remember when you started this ad campaign and potentially maybe even add the type of campaign it is. After that, you need to select the products that you want to add into that campaign. You can either select them from here or you could add the ASIN. Now, whenever you list a product on Amazon, Amazon will give you an ASIN number for that product. You'll be able to easily find that ASIN number inside of the uh, product page itself and add it or just find the product in the drop down menu and just click on it and add it to your advertising. You'll be able to find the ASIN in the product detail details section of your product page, as you can see right here. So you just need to simply copy it and paste it so that you can select it in your ads or just select it from the ad itself. Once you have selected the product, now it's time for you to select whether you want to choose automatic targeting or manual targeting. As you can see, there's so many different types of ads that you can create. You can create an auto campaign, a manual campaign. I think all of these campaigns are great, but they're very much dependent on what level of seller you are. Even if Amazon is a very new platform for you, but if you have prior experience with e-commerce or maybe creating your own uh, Google ads, then it'll be very easy for you to create Amazon ads using the manual campaign. But if this is brand new for you, if Amazon and e-commerce is brand new for you, I would suggest that you use the auto campaign or in this case, we're going, to be this, we're going to be choosing the product targeting campaign. Now, for this example, I will be choosing manual targeting. And after that, I will be selecting product targeting. Now, product targeting campaigns are one of the strongest and easiest ad campaigns to set up. Your ad will show up as an additional product inside of your competitor's listing. As you can see here, products related to this item, and they are all sponsored meaning these ads are quite uh, inexpensive and they also are able to steal customers from your competitors. You need to choose which products under which products you want to show up. So normally you would select products that are very similar in price as you and potentially maybe have less reviews or the same amount of reviews so that you can entice customers to purchase from you and not from the competitor. You simply need to take the ASIN numbers of those products and add them on Amazon in the campaign manage, in the campaign builder. So in the product targeting, I've selected individual products and I've added the ASINs of the products that I want to target with a comma to separate both. And I'll just basically click on add. And as you can see here, Amazon is suggesting a particular bid of 2.22 for this first product and 2.37 Phyllis for the second product. 
Normally, you can stay at that bid, but if you are launching and you want to be quite aggressive, it would be a good idea just to increase the bid a little bit higher just to ensure the visibility of the product is on the top and main page. After that, it's time to decide the bidding strategy, whether you want the product to be dynamic up and down or dynamic down only or down only or fixed bids. I would always suggest that you choose dynamic bids down, down only because that way Amazon will not be increasing your bid, but they will be rather reducing your bid. So right now we are bidding, let's say 2.32 for the first product. But if the bidding is lower, then Amazon will automatically lower your bid down to two dirhams, for example, where you don't have to overspend or spend more than you have to. So dynamic down only is the best strategy, in my opinion. You need to add the campaign name again so that you can remember. You can add the, the name of the, of the product or whatever is easy for you so that you can remember what the campaign is. You need to have a start date and an end date. Normally, I would suggest that you don't put an end date because you might put an end date and forget. And then after a couple of days, check and find that the campaign has stopped. If you don't add an ad end, camp, uh, end date, there's no problem because you can stop the ad campaign and pause it whenever you want. And now you need to add a budget. Now to decide on a budget for your ad campaigns is quite difficult, but it does have to do with, with or, or there are so many things that you need to think about. Mostly you need to think about your budget, how much uh, margin you're making with the product and how aggressive you need to be. So those three things, what is your budget? how aggressive you want to be and what are your margins or how much money will you be making from this product. The better and the higher the budget, the more visibility the ad is going to get and eventually the more sales that you will get. And that is everything for this video. If you want help and support with your ads, don't forget to reach out to the Amazon Seller Society team on our official website, www.assmiddleeast.org. We are here to help and support you, and we're able to manage all of your ad campaigns on Amazon in the Middle East. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.